I don't know. I feel like I'm determined to say that weirder every night. Nice and chill today, which was good after the last few. Um, despite <laughs> abandoning my colony from yesterday, I started a new one in Remolt today. Um, created a drastically different ideology focused around loving trees and hiding in tunnels. <laughs> oh, and being blind. <laughs> so, blind, cave-dwelling, uh, tree worshippers. It's working out really well. The new type of tree that whose name I refuse to try and pronounce, which basically works like you have a pawn connect to it, the colonist or whatever you want to call them. They're called pawns because that's what they look like. They look like chess pawns. But um you have one uh, connect to this tree and when you do so the the tree is capable of producing drones and when you connect a person to the tree you can decide which drones which what type of drones for them to produce and the drones will work with you uh, you have like haulers, you have attackers and defenders, you have uh, producers in the flavors of medicine and wood, and then you have one that can just basically make more of the tree. Um, you can only do that if you fulfill certain ideology recommend uh, requisites <laughs> and basically the pond that binds with the tree spends so much time a day uh, like maintaining it pruning it um, and the higher the more you maintain it the more uh, drones the tree can make and so like basically up to four and so basically I have one pawn who's not very fast anyway but is really good at loving plants um, bound with a tree that is producing hauler drones that, that's all they do they just haul things um, and Basically, all of the time that he spends taking care of the tree is paid back significantly by, you know, these four haulers working whenever they're not asleep, not just while he's taking care of the tree. So, like, right now I've got that one, I've got one doing defensive ones, um one making medicine and one making wood because and you might think that's a bit redundant but it pays off because a lot of the you know if you're gonna worship trees and you know you're gonna have the trees fulfill ideology good things for you you kind of can't hurt trees <laughs> uh, you can't worship a tree without being sad about cutting it down um, So these little woodwork, these wood producing drones uh, make up for that. And honestly, even if uh, you're not only doing it because you have to worship trees, it's a lot more convenient 
because they just kind of molt it every two days. Every two days they give you a stack of 25 wood. And so if you have all four of them, that's every two days you're getting 100 wood. And you're not having to manually go through and select wood to cut, to, uh, select trees to have cut down and all that stuff. So it's fun. Um, There's also one that makes berries. And I think I might do that next. Um, the only real problem I've been running into so far with this colony is food intake. Because I did a scenario I've never done before. Which is basically, you are five, you are five uh, surviving members of a tribe that was just attacked. So starting with five mouths to feed, and next to no food, and also pretty much no technology because you were just a tribe has been a challenge but I think I'm about to hit a turning point with it um, it's been fun so far and I expect it to continue being fun but anyway uh, that's it for me tonight I'm going to go to sleep now, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.